Oh, oh, mama. Oh, baby. Is this it? Is this really it? This is it. Make no mistake where you are. This is it. Your back's to the corner. This is it. Don't be a fool anymore. This is it. The waiting is over. Yeah, I think this is it. This is the one you've been waiting for, the one I've been waiting for, as I've been waiting to find the one. That's right, the one winner to take it all home, all the dough, all the clams, all the Benito Santiago's tonight. It's one winner, takes all, right here, right now on HQ, the live mobile game show where you answer questions to win cash. And I am the host with the pecan praline French toast. King Quizzard and the Lizard Wizard, Scott Rogowski, live from Austin City Limits. No, that's not true, but I was there the last two nights. Love you, Austin. With all my favorite HQties tonight, including Aaron Jane Roberto, Chris Saylor, Ramon Reyes, off from work tonight, Ben Mo, Lance, Grace, and Lulu. Hey, Kip, do you want to go to Homecoming with Grace? Let a girl know. Kevin, Ethan, everybody I met on Bevo Boulevard. I love you guys, and happy birthday, Scoldy Locks and Ed Lamantia. Now tonight, we're doing things differently, right? I don't ask, I don't stop asking questions until there's one H cutie left standing. And we're gonna be sure of it because if we get to the end of the game tonight and no one picks the right answer, we're not rolling this thing over, no. The remaining players will get served another question and the contest continues tonight. We're doing it, we're finding the one. And to the victor goes the spoils. Oh, I'm spoiling you with an inflated pot. A big old purse, baby. Tonight, that prize is 25,000 David Moroles, 25,000 Drew Stubbs, $25,000. That's enough to buy like 5,000 pumpkins and carve HQ winner in that baby. HQD, number one, 36 cents. Not tonight, 25,000 tonight. Do you have extra lives, by the way? Did you save it up for tonight? Did you get that? Do you not have it? You can invite your friends. You can play five days in a row to earn one, or you can get one right now. Now is the time to get one if you do not have. We don't do these winner take all games that often, okay? This is big money. Are you ready? Are you charged up physically, mentally, spiritually? Phonally? Like, make sure your phone stays charged. You don't want this thing dying in the middle. Is that chat distracting you? You don't like that chat? Swipe, poof, it's gone, just like that. Yeah, baby. You feeling good? Ready for this? This is gonna be a long run. I got my water here. I hope you're, you've got some snacks handy. Toiletries. All right, then let's do this. Let's get down. Sorry. From Hollywood, California, the Flash apparently official, the Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande engagement died at 2 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Eastern time, some four hours ago. I'm sorry, uh, I just, I just didn't see this coming. And well, I'm praying for you, Pete and Ariana. I love you guys, stay strong. You're gonna get through this. The nation will get through this. We will be healed. Let's start the healing right now. With HQ, $25,000. Let's do it. Let's get down to the nitty gritty and get this show on the road. Kimero, numero uno. Let's do it for Pete and Ariana. Which of these languages was spoken by humans centuries ago? Latin, Klingon, or Valyrian? As a member of the Brick Wall Brotherhood, I'm Team Pete. He's gonna get through this. I believe in you, buddy. <laughs> now, I'm, I don't have a side. I really don't. I don't care. Don't tweet me at that. About that. Latin's the answer, guys. Come on! The other two languages are fictional. Klingon, Valyrian, 512,681 Latin lovers in the game tonight for Q2. What character is famous for both his love of carrots and his Brooklyn accent? Charlie Brown, Bugs Bunny, or Winnie the Pooh? Over a half a million of you live in the game right now around the world. Mel Blanc! You know him? He was the golden voice of the golden age of animation. And though he was born in San Francisco and raised in Portland, his knack for dialects meant he could lend a knowing New Yorkese 
to a certain wascally wabbit. When in my heart I know the magic is my love for you. If you didn't tap Bugs Bunny, you're bugging. Who says the bunny can't ball? 493,553. And you're not bugging. What's up, Doc? You're getting Q2, but before we get there, Q3 rather, before we get to Q3, tomorrow. Let me tell you about what's going on here at HQ. It's music Monday, and we're hipping, and we're hopping, just like bugs. It's a hip hop theme tomorrow night on music Monday. Host Face Killer will be here. Host Face. That's me. Ray Quiz will be here. Q3, in baseball, what word refers to a base that a player is not entitled to but takes anyway? Borrowed, rented, or stolen? Now you know Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson is the all-time major league leader in this category. Ricky will tell you that in third person. The story goes that when he broke the record as a member of the A's, the team gave him a $1 million bonus check, but Ricky never cashed that check. Ricky wanna frame that check. Yeah, that's Ricky for you. The stolen base king. Steal your base right off your head. It's a stolen base, 478,643. Swiping this one, pilfering this quiz so far. Q4, in Spain, a short nap taken after lunch is known as what? Sierra, siesta, or semana? Semana Santa. Ruben Sierra, another baseball player. Nothing to do with this question. If you took one of these earlier today, you should be feeling alert. If not, you might be feeling the hurt. I'm talking about a little sleep, a sueñecito, a siesta. Siesta, siesta, mmm. 449,859. Feeling energized right now. You don't need a nap, you're in this thing. Q5. Yo-Yo Ma is one of the world's great players of what instrument? Harmonica, clarinet, or cello? Yo Ma, 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 you know good pa. I've often wondered if Yo-Yo Ma is any good at the yo-yo. Can he walk the dog? Cat's cradle. Huh? Well, he's no k stress, but give him a bow and a cello. And hello, you've got 18 Grammy Awards. Cello is the answer here for yo-yo. 364,775 going around the world, around the world. I could do that yo-yo trick. We're saying yo MTV raps at Q6. The rest of you, it's a wrap on the quiz. Now known as the Knicks, what is the original full name of Manhattan's NBA team? Nickelodeon's Knickknacks or Knickerbockers? Go New York, go New York, go. Go New York, go New York, go. We are the New York Knicks. That's the New York Knicks, but what's the full name? While writing a history of New York, New York, author Washington Irving went by the pseudonym Diedrich Knickerbocker. And Knickerbocker became slang for New Yorker, hence the alliterative team name. 337,579 of you in this game still. You know, the Knicks played Madison Square Garden. We had the equivalent of over 25 Madison Square Gardens starting the game tonight. We're down to 337,000. $25,000 is going to one of you. Just one of yous. Q7. Anna Wintour is famous for sporting what kind of hairstyle? Pixie, Bob, or Top Knot? Dating all the way back to Louise Brooks. Oh, you haven't heard of her? She's long deceased, but she was a famous actor in the 1910s and 20s. This do has remained popular throughout the ages, though it's hard for mere mortals to pull off without looking like Anton Chigurh. The Robert. I'm talking about the Bob. That's the answer here. Bob cut is Anna Wintour's preferred cut. Oh, and we're cutting 140,000 plus a year, 150,000, but 188,564 bobbing on the surface. And the shadow glides below. We're bobbing for Q8 right now. Bobbing for apples. What constellation contains the North Star? Little Dipper, Orion, or Big Dipper? Hmm. Ursa Major? Ursa Minor? Thank you, Mr. Minor. Trace the outside stars of the Big Dipper there, right? Opposite the handle. In a straight line upwards, you come to a bright star. That is Polaris. The North Star which is also the last star on the handle of Ursa Minor, which is also known as the Lil Dipper. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my Lanta. Oh, the HQ Manatee. Who knew that when I dip you dip, we dip at a savage question on Lil Dipper. 160,000 out, gone. Just like that. Hopefully you had an extra life to keep you in this thing, but 43,576. 
are dipping with me at Q9. What classic novel starts and ends with two fragments of the same sentence? Don Quixote, Invisible Man, or Finnegan's Wake? Put your hands up on your hip. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Lil Dippers. Mm-mm-mm. This is a classic book by a man named James Joyce. It starts with a lowercase letter. Hmm, that's a clue that the last sentence is the first sentence. It's a big circle. It's a circular story, Finnegan's Wake. Come on, 17,089 getting litty with me at Q9 right here. A savish, mm, slightly savage question. Lost a lot of you, oh, nearly 50,000, but 17, 89, staying lit for Q10. By definition, which biblical figure is featured in artwork with a Pieta theme? Virgin Mary, Mary Magdalene, or Baby Jesus? Baby Jesus. We had half a million, over half a million starting down to 17,089. Starting to get tight already at Q10. La Pieta, a major theme in Renaissance art, most famously in Michelangelo's sculpture of the same name. All these depictions, show the crucified body of Jesus being held by his mother, the Virgin Mary. Of course, 11,131. This is not your last dance with Mary. You're fixing a Bloody Mary, a Virgin Bloody Mary perhaps for Q11. Which of these Pokemon characters was not a gym leader in the original animated series? Brock, Ash, or Misty? Mm. Ash Ketchum. Brock something, or Misty, I don't know these people. But Ash, well, he's like the main character of Pokemon. Yeah, the one even I, a Poke dummy recognizes. But all Ash cares about is being a Pokemon master. He can't stay in one place long enough to be a gym leader like Brock or Misty. Oh, and I'm getting misty-eyed. Already think about the 5,000 we lost here at Q11. 6,881, your Pokemon going to Q12 right now. Normally the final. But not tonight, because I don't stop asking until there's one person left, remember? That's the whole conceit of this whole thing. I've been talking about it all night. Q12, the first scene of the film Jurassic Park involves an accident with what dinosaur? Triceratops, Velociraptor, or T-Rex? I know what you're thinking. I should have made Wayne Knight one of the answer options. <laughs> Newman, very cruel. Very cruel of you to think that. The first scene of this movie might be the scariest scene of the movie for me. Floodlights, fog, a guard gets eaten, attempting to transfer a Velociraptor! Shoot her! Shoot her! That was freaky, man. 4,171. Clever girls still in this game. Hold on to your butts. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. As we get down to the one here, Q13. Which of these jobs used to be awarded medals in the Olympics? Architect, surgeon, or bricklayer? Hmm. What? They used to award medals? To artists? Yeah. The founders of the modern Olympics envisioned a celebration of both mind and body, and competing in sport rather than war. Well, more than 250 wars and 300 million war dead later. Maybe a tad too idealistic about those Olympics. At least we have Ryan Lochte. From 1912 to 48, five categories of art were awarded medals, including literature, music, painting, sculpture, and architecture. Architect is your answer, 1,682. Building their way to the top of the mountain, the top of the quiz here, there, only, there can only be one of you. And by the way, your extra lives, they're still good up until this point, but after this one, no mas. They turn into pumpkins. Just like the pumpkins you're probably carving while you're playing right now. Q14, Stanley Tucci is the real life brother-in-law of his co-star in which of these films? The Hunger Games, Easy A, or The Devil Wears Prada? Talking about the Tooch! When Stanley Tucci met Emily Blunt's sister, a literary agent named Felicity, Tucci was blunt in his affections. They married in 2012. I hope he's even half as good at being a brother-in-law as he was playing art director Nigel in The Devil Wears Prada, where he co-starred with Emily Blunt. You see how that works? It's a fun question. 1,273 of you are in Tucci Gang, Tucci Gang, Tucci Gang, Tucci Gang. Yeah, that's Pete Davidson, his finest work. Q15, the Flintstones debuted during whose presidency? Dwight Eisenhower, John Kennedy, or Lyndon Johnson? 
Flintstones. Meet the Flintstones. They're the modern Stone Age family. And they first aired from the town of Bedrock on September 30th, 1960. Now, JFK was elected president soon after, on November 8th of that year, but he wouldn't take office until January 61 anyway, which puts the debut of Fred, Wilma Pebbles, and the rubble squarely in Dwight Eisenhower's final term. 486 of you. Well, you like Ike. You like Ike in a big way tonight because Ike just got you one question closer to 25 grand. 25 Ariana Grand Day. Q16. What are the first words spoken in the first video ever uploaded to YouTube? I'm at the zoo. All right, so here we are, or let's try this. YouTube, it's almost now inconceivably enormous. It's like, had it, but it started innocuously enough on April 24th, 2005, with the upload of a 19 second video titled Me at the Zoo, which began with the immortal words of co-founder Javed Karim. <laughs> All right, so here we are in front of the uh, elephants. And that's pretty much all there is to say. All right, so here we are, and so are 155 H cuties at Q16. We lost another 300 plus of you. Extra lives cannot help you right now. No safety nets, just you and your brain trying to make it rain $25,000. Q17, how do flutes used in jazz typically differ from flutes used to perform classical music? Do they have extra keys? Are they longer or is there no difference? Whatever we'll love to hear Ron Burgundy play some jazz flute. How about some East Harlem shakedown? E flat? Keep the cymbals splashy and uh, Jerry, let's take the bass line for a walk. Jazz flute, it seems special, right? But alas, Anchorman lied to us. A flute's a flute. There's no difference be when you use it, any kind of music. Hey, Aqualung, 72 of you, 72, after a half a million started, we're down to 72 who knew their flutes. Do you know your classic board games? Q18 in Classic Monopoly. A single bill in which of these colors is worth the least? Beige, orange, or green? Oh, Monopoly money. We're not giving that out tonight. We're giving out the real deal, baby. And as Canadians well know, Money's easier to handle when each value corresponds to different colors. As Monopoly players know, you get a fat stack to start the game. In the original version, you got $2,500 bills in orange, $2,100 bills in beige, $30, $50 bills in blue, and $50, $20 in green. Greenbacks, green is your answer here. 38, 38 left after Q18, just to let you guys know. $10 bills, they were yellow, you knew that one. The 38 of you also know that the $5 are pink and the $1 is white. But the $25,000 we are giving out tonight, well that's, that's green. That's green too. And half a million of you are probably green with envy that you're not one of the 38 left standing at Q19. The name of which island nation's capital does not contain the word king. Jamaica, St. Vincent Grenadines, or Barbados? Cruising down to the Caribbean for this one. Reggae heads will know that Jamaica's capital is Kingston. The namesake for Sean. Sean Kingston. Yeah. yeah. St. Vinny? Capital? Is Kingstown. Now Barbados capital should be called Queenstown in honor of Rihanna, but alas, it's Bridgetown. There's no king in Bridgetown. Somebody call 911. 26 H cuties burning on the dance floor. Well, uh oh. 26 of you at Q20. 25,000. That's the key number here. It's going to one of you. At Q20, we go. Which of these Oscar winning films was adapted from a book? American Beauty, Shrek, or The King's Speech? Adapted from a book. One of them was. The other two were not. Let's go back to the 90s, specifically 1990, shall we? A children's book was quietly published, written and illustrated by William Stieg. A year later, Steven Spielberg acquired the film rights, and 10 years later, the wait was ogre. And the first what became a billion dollar movie franchise hit theaters. Shrek, the book, had an exclamation point, 
And who's gonna be shrieking for Shrek 15 of you put an exclamation point on this night at Q20 down to 15, the final 15, as we search for the one here on HQ, $25,000 is going to one of you. Aichi Wowie Q21. Which country's current leader was born most recently? Iceland, Canada, or France? In other words, which of these countries has got the youngest head of government? Okay? Capiche, the youngest in the world, that's Austria. Sebastian Kirsch, 32 years old, the guy's running the country. Without telling you how old I am, I could, I could be doing that. Justin Trudeau, Canadian Prime Minister, that baby-faced Trudeau, well, he was born in 1971. Katrine Jacobs Dottir, which means the daughter of Jacob. Iceland's Prime Minister was born in February 76. Don't blame me, I voted for Bjork. But even though his taste in femme skews older, French President Emmanuel Macron is the baby of this bunch. And then there were four. The final four H cuties. The Frozen Four, as hockey season begins, skating on to Q22. Four of you in the game. One of you is going to win 25K. If you all get this one wrong, we'll give you Q23. But I have a feeling we might be finding the one right here. Q22. Which of these cities has hosted the Olympics only one time? Lake Placid, Paris, or Berlin? I'm talking about skating on. Wow. Olympics, winter, summer, it's all valid. Lake Placid did such a good job on the 32 winters that they came back in 80. Do you believe in miracles? Yes! And Paris, well, hey, they did the summer games in double zero, that's 1900, and 1924, and they're triple dipping in 2024. But something I can't place about the uh, 1936 games in Berlin that uh, turned people off to that one. Berlin is your answer. They've only done it once. And three of you are left after this one. We lost one of you on Lake Placid. The miracle was not with you. Herb Brooks was not with you tonight. But for three of you now, three H cuties, the holy trinity right here for Q23. Who's making that money move 25,000? Hit me with it. Which movie did not Get Tom Hanks an Oscar nomination. Apollo 13, Big or Saving Private Ryan. Mm. Who's gonna be saying thanks to Hanks? It's a short list of Tom Hanks movies that didn't earn him some kind of award consideration. Big was his first trip to the Oscars in 1989. Saving Private Ryan was a gripping war epic, certainly nomination worthy in 1999. Saving Ryan's Private, so that's completely different movie. Tom Hanks was not in that. But Tom was in Apollo 13. However, Ed Harris got the acting nomination. And we have our winner, baby one winner, $25,000. We found you, baby! <laughs> Is there no more appropriate graphic for that question than that rocket going straight to the moon? Well, guess what? Sufficient, you are more than sufficient tonight. And you've landed, well, I'd say as safe as the Apollo 13 crew. They landed safely and so did you. You knew Apollo 13 and you just won $25,000, baby. And you're apparently a stuffed toucan of some kind, but at least you have a face and, and a nose that rivals mine. I love you, Sufficient. You should love yourself. You're loving life. $25,000 from HQ on our winner take all game, October 14th market. We lost Pete and Ariana, but we gained Sufficient. A new HQ champion and a big one vaulting to the top echelon of our leaderboard just like that. How about that, folks? Wild ride, huh? Thanks for joining me on it. Exit through the side doors, tip your weight staff, and come back tomorrow for that hip hop 
hip it to the hip it to the hip hip hop and we don't stop for rocking but i will stop asking questions tomorrow 12 questions about hip hop tomorrow night our music monday and thursday night guys thursday night theme night we're doing the office yeah the office your favorite tv show apparently from all the twitter feedback we're getting so that's Thursday night at 9 o'clock. Every night at 9 o'clock, you can find us here. You'll find me here most of those nights. I'm Scott Rogowski saying thank you for joining me. Signing off tonight. And in the words of Macca, who I saw the other night, Paul McCartney, Sir Paul. And in the end, bum, ba -dum, the love you take ba -da, is equal to the love. Come on, everybody. Everybody, you make... Ba, ha, pa, pa. Congratulations, sufficient. Good night, everybody. <laughs>